Welcome back. So this is the last section of delivering your speech. We have delivered our speech. Now after the delivery of speech, there could be occasions wherein the audience might ask you certain questions or the judges might ask you certain questions. So how should you answer your audience's question? Let's quickly look at that. Okay. All right. Now, and this is a homework that you'll have to do before you deliver your speech. Any kind of speech delivery that you are into, be prepared with kind of questions that can come to you. There are some common questions which are asked, very, very common questions. Try to uh, compile a list of these common questions, irrespective of if it's um, impromptu speech or an ex uh, extemporaneous speech or a manuscript or a memorized speech, you can jot down the kind of questions normally people ask okay so uh, for impromptu you might not know because you do not you do not know what the topic is but for other forms of speeches you can you can at least frame the questions also but for impromptu and uh, extemporaneous speeches there is a, there are a set of questions which you can expect from your audience all right so be prepared for that and there are certain rules that you need to set okay now, when you are ready, when the audience is asking a question, you will have to be very, very attentive. Listen to the whole question. At times, we, uh, we are so overwhelmed with the question that we want to answer even before the audience finishes. Let the person asking the question finish asking the question. Okay? Understand the context. If you are too quick to answer, you might miss the context. So, why is this person asking me the question? Understand that context. In a hurry to answer, you might lose track. So try to understand the context behind asking the question. Let's say one person, of course, one at a time will answer. And set these rules. Set these rules before your presentation or your speech that I will take the questions at the end. I will take questions one by one so that audience know, okay, this is the kind of rules the speaker has set. Involve the whole audience. Now, one person has asked you a question. You are going to involve your whole audience. So, you only need not answer to him. You answer this and the question has been asked by someone, but the answer could be for the whole group. You can say, so my dear friends, interesting question. I'm going to answer it in this way or I have an important analogy for this answer. So, frame certain um, sentences and answer the question. But when you answer the question, address the whole crowd, not only that person. Come back to him or her, but address the whole crowd so that the audience, rest of the audience who has not asked question still feels connected with you. And this is very important. Respond concisely means respond in a very short sentence and to the point. At times what happens when speakers answer questions, they, the question itself becomes another speech. So be mindful about how are you answering the question. Let the answer be to the point, short, crisp and uh, the, the audience is kind of okay, I'm fine with the answer. Do not give a vague answer. Do, and if you do not know an answer and that's, this is very tricky, at times what happens, there is some questions might come which you do not have an answer to. You should very logically and very sensibly tell this, can I come back to you on this point a bit later? I will come back to you. Okay, so reassure, I will come back to you. Do not let them feel you do not have the answer. Okay, let them know that, okay, you cannot have answer to all the questions. All right, so let's say it's, it's a question that you literally do not have an answer to. You can say, I will come back to you. Okay, at this moment, uh, with my limited knowledge, I don't think I'll be in a position to answer your question, but I will come back to you. Reassure them. All right, that is one of the tricks that you should use rather than telling, oh, uh, sorry, I do not know the answer. That makes you look very, very naive or uh, someone who does not know how to answer questions. So you have to be tactical when you answer these kind of questions. And at times your audience might ask you questions which are not relevant. Okay, do not make them feel bad, but then say, uh, my dear friend, this is actually beyond the discussions that we've done so far. So can we take it offline? Okay, so I, I respect your question. So what you mean is I respect your question, but I would like to take it offline because this doesn't suit the framework of the entire discussions that we've had all this while. Okay, so be very, very specific. 
be concise, be, uh, set rules when you are uh, giving your speech or before you uh, start with your speech so that your audience knows what is there, set a framework in which they can ask you questions. There could be people who want to tease you and ask questions. Tell them, we can discuss this offline, my dear friend. Okay, so be very, very uh, clever when you answer these kind of questions. And this is important also because you might be asked questions and if you do not tackle the questions properly, whatever you have done so far, you know, you've, we have done so many lessons, everything will become futile just because one uh, technique or tactics you could not use. So answering questions is important. Take and tell them that I, I can only take, because of paucity of time, I can only take two questions, three questions, specify that. Then the audience will not try to disturb you. Okay, so with this, now we come to the end of this particular section, but there are a few more things that we are going to see in the next lesson. So see you on the other side. Bye-bye.